going on everyone got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today i'm discussing steve mcqueen's new film widows steve mcqueen is most notably known for 12 years of slave that won the oscar a couple years back and i really liked 12 years of slave i thought it was a brilliant film it's a hard film to watch definitely don't think i'll ever watch it anytime soon but i was really looking forward to the widows one this is hands down one of the best casts of the year like the best ensemble cast in general i mean look at this cast you got viola davis michelle rodriguez elizabeth debecky liam neeson john berthnall and the list just goes on and on from there plus you add in that it's a heist film but the heist is so much different widows is the story of four women with nothing in common except the debt left behind by their dead husbands i love this concept I love the cast, and you know me, guys, I'm a big fan of heist films, so Widows was my cup of tea, and let me tell you, it was definitely my cup of tea and more. Widows is easily one of the best films of the year. The thing that's so special about Widows isn't just the performances, which I will get into, but it's beautifully shot. It's beautifully directed. There are so many scenes in here where the imagery, the cinematography is just glowing, and the palette in here is just magnificent the thing about widows though is it's not just your typical heist film it's not those gun ho heist films that you get within den of thieves or baby driver which are both films i enjoy but the thing that widows delves more deeper in is the characteristics and the themes of lost and love and where those elements fall in between with these elements and the heist that they have to perform at the center of this film it very much is more of a drama than any sort of heist film heist in general is just the story element and since the macguffin of the whole movie but it works for what's going on the best things about widows that i mentioned earlier was the cast and the cast is outstanding everyone comes in and heals it michelle rodriguez easily gives her best performance let's be honest here she's never been like top tier actor but she does something different in this film that i think mcqueen really got out of her and it's really just within her facial with her eyes with her emotions that she delves into the screen with the sense of loss and just like all these other wonderful ladies do give you look at viola davis she is a powerhouse performance every single time and this film is no different cynthia urvio who we saw earlier this year back in bad times at the el royale she She's even better than this. And she had a very small role, but I just loved what they did with her. And then you go to Colin Farrell, who's always great. Robert Duvall's always great. Liam Neeson's always great. But the biggest standout performance is easily throughout this whole film. And the first one I do want to mention is Daniel Kaluuya. I loved what he did in Get Out. And I love every single thing that he's done so far. But I think easily as a supporting actor, this is one of his best performances to date. And he just brought a different layer and sense to his character. Now, given he doesn't have a lot of emotional range, but it's just this sick, twisted character that he plays. It's so much different than anything he's ever played before. And I just loved what he did. But my, my God, Elizabeth Debicki stole the whole entire movie. I loved her from beginning to end. And a lot of her story is very symbolistic and it's very subtle it's nothing that's just glowing out and what's going on because viola davis it really is our main protagonist and you can get to know most about her but as elizabeth debecky did something so different and i don't want to get into any details of what her character has going on for her but man i loved her and out of all these ladies when the oscars come up i think we might be hearing her name with the best supporting actress category and again i don't think it's just that that we will be hearing about the oscars i think this, this film is best picture worthy i think this film is definitely best adaptive screenplay worthy by gilligan flynn who did gone girl which was amazing but i just loved everything about widows I think Widows is a fantastic movie that just gets better and better and better as it goes. And my God, that ending is so good. The last third act is wonderful and fantastic. Has you on the edge of your seat when the heist finally goes down. My God, I like, I was sitting in this lounge chair and I pulled my seat up. I sat there, looked at the screen, gripped my legs and just said, oh my God, multiple times. I found myself falling in love with Widows. I get to see this film again. I love that this film is a drama and I love that it's a heist film, but it plays to a bigger audience as well as a smaller audience. It feels like an independent film, but it's not. Steve McQueen outdid himself on this one. And personally, I think this might be his best film to date. I know it's a little bit hard with 12 Years a Slave going up against it, but my God, I think McQueen is one of the best directors that no one is talking about as much and he they need to because he directed this film so well for cons though i will say this 
There were a couple storylines in here that I think you could have just snipped out that I did not need. Or maybe could have delved more deeper in. I think the film runs 2 hours and 15 minutes. And I think you could have even extended that a little bit more. I didn't think it ran too long. I think it ran a little bit too short. Personally, that's such a small nitpick. It, it should not deter you from seeing Widows. Widows is a wonderful film. See it in the biggest theater you can. Definitely see it with the best audience you can. You're going to like Widows. I think you might even love it. I definitely think I'm getting to the point where I can exceed going just really liking it, but really loving it. So with all that said, I'm going to give Widows an A. You guys, what are your guys' thoughts on Widows? Are you guys excited for it? Are you not? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Who is your favorite celebrity that happens to be in this movie? Personally, Elizabeth the Becky might be getting up there, but Cynthia Irvio's kind of up there too. But man, Viola Davis, you can get me into a movie theater. Guys, if you guys are new here, make sure that like and subscribe button so you guys never miss out on any videos. I love talking movies with everyone of all sorts of kinds. So let's talk about it down below in the comments, like I said. Plus, guys, if you guys want to go see some movies early, check out Sandwich on Films also down below because it's the website that I'm a part of, so grateful to be a part of. And right down there, you guys can get into advanced movie screens. You can check out some movie news. You can even check out some movie reviews. And guys, until next time, stay classy. <laughs>